Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. I've had a pretty busy week so far. Yesterday, I got the kiln loaded up and got that going. That was actually a pretty small load. Most of it is eight quarter walnut on the bottom. Got some Chinese chestnut on top. And I mixed up that species because everything is the same moisture content. It was all sawed about three years ago. And it's also the same thickness. So you're okay when you wait a long time on different species before you put them in the kiln. Now, if that stuff was green, well, I wouldn't be putting green slabs in the kiln anyways. Never put green slabs in the kiln. It's gonna to take too long to dry and you're gonna have a lot of defects. I always make sure you dry them first. But when you air dry them first and they're the same thickness, it's okay to mix things up sometimes. You'll be okay when you do that. I've also been working in the shop, putting up more shiplap and working on some cedar for Etsy orders. All right, friends, heading into the shop. And real fast, if you're wondering where my doors are, this weekend we're supposed to have a bunch of rain from that hurricane. So I think that'll be a good time to come in here and start building the doors. So the first thing we need to do is run this pine through the molder. But before we run it through the molder, I need to make a square cut on the end. You don't want to send a jagged end like this through a molder or a planer or anything like that. You'll have big chips come off and it could mess up your dust extractor. friends we're back out here today and hopefully we will finish up this wall and move on to something else now last night my camera battery went dead that's a shocker and i went ahead and put up this trim those are one by fours i trimmed out the whole entire wall and the only thing left to do is the doorway right here let me show you what i'm thinking so right here on the sides we'll put up more one by four pines and right here I'm gonna worry about that later. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the inside of the doorway. But on the top, I think we should do something different right there since we have so much pine on this wall. And what are we gonna do different? We're gonna put some cedar on there. I've got a nice six quarter plank. I believe it's about, how wide is it guys? Just over seven inches on the width. 
We'll mill this down to probably six and a half by about five quarter. And my plan is once we do that, we're gonna put it right there above the door, but extend it the full length of the wall on both sides. We'll measurement here and see how long, or close to it rather. It'd be a lot nicer if one of you guys would stand over and help hold the measuring tape. I'd appreciate it. 115 inches. We'll cut a little proud of that so we can take a little cut off to make sure it fits in there nice and tight. It's over to the miter saw. Guys, that looks pretty good. Let's put a little Odie's oil on it. Let me see, I think that's the best face. Yeah, there's a lot of knots back here. This right here, friends, is Odie's oil. I'm not gonna talk a lot about it because there's a lot of YouTube videos out there showing how you put this stuff on. It's pretty easy. You can't really mess it up. But the first thing you wanna make sure you do, here I am talking about it now, you wanna make sure you stir it up really good. Kinda looks like applesauce, don't it? Tell you what, friends, that cedar looks really good with that Odie's oil on there. Check that out, it looks really nice. It will look even better here in about an hour. You let that stuff dry, and then you come back with the towel and wipe it down. 